Welcome to the Endeavour Sailing Time Tutorial. A little bit of information here. Greenwich Mean Time, or GMT, was actually established in 1884, but now we know Greenwich Mean Time as UTC, Coordinated Universal Time, or UT, Universal Time. So now let's see how this works. Here is an example of tidal data out of the RYA Training Almanac. And this appears, or is shown, as it does within other almanacs such as the Reeds Almanac. As you can see, with this data all times are written in UT time, i.e. Universal time. In winter we are in UT time. Our clocks are set to this time. But as you know, in the summertime, our clocks go forward by one hour. This is known as daylight saving time. So indicate this in the almanac, we have the non-shaded areas and the shaded areas. If the date is not shaded, you need to add an hour. If the area is shaded, this is already in UT time and no correction is needed. Times around the world are split into different time zones. You do not need to know all of these time zones, but it is important that you understand how it is written within the nautical almanacs. So let's take France, for example. As you probably know, and you can see here, France is one hour ahead of us. But let's now look at how this is represented in the almanac. As you can see, it is worded slightly differently. It is worded giving you the correction that you need to take it back to UT. So, to emphasize, France is one hour ahead, so to take this back to UT, you need to deduct an hour, therefore you see it written as time zone minus 100, or time zone minus one hour. So to conclude, in the UK we have UT in the winter and DST in the summertime, and this is indicated by shading within the almanac. When working in different time zones, the zone in nautical terms is expressed as the correction to take the time back to UT. More working examples will be found in our tidal streams and tidal height videos.